this is a video that I would say I'm probably mostly not looking forward to. Not that it's bad. I mean, I think it's great, and I think we have a lot of really good products on this video. I think what I'm not looking forward to about this video is it's talking about co-washes and conditioners and my favorite ones. And I don't, if you follow along on this channel, you know that I've figured out what the porosity of my beard is. And if you don't know what the porosity of your beard is, I recommend you go check out the porosity series right here on this channel to figure out what porosity your beard is so you can better grow, maintain, and groom your beard based on the porosity. You find the products that work best for your, any, your beard. Anyway, I've done that. And I found out that I'm a low porosity. And with low porosity, I've also found out that co-washes and conditioners really don't benefit me on an everyday, every other day basis. I benefit more from a deep conditioning. So this video is about co-washes and conditioners and the favorite ones that I've found throughout the year. So I want to preface it, this video and these choices with the fact that these are all ones that I've used all year long, and starting in July or August time frame, I kind of stopped using conditioners and co-washes, but I went back for this video to make sure that I agreed that these were still the top of the top for me specifically in the conditioner co-wash game. So let's talk about Tyson's favorite conditioners, co-washes, however you want to say it. Now, I'm going to lump them all together. I do feel like there's a difference between co-washes and there's a difference between conditioners. I don't necessarily see the value for anybody to put them in different separate videos. So I'm going to include it all into one video in what I'm going to call what are the top co-washes and conditioners in 2020. FYI, did you know the Beardies are coming soon? The Beardies are coming. The awards, they've arrived at my doorstep. I have the awards for the winners. Now we just need to schedule a date. So in the comments down below, would you rather be on a weekend night, like a Sunday night, or would you rather be during the weekdays? When are you more available to be on a live stream to participate in the second annual Beardies of 2020? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're excited for the Beardies and you're excited to see who won, go ahead and give it a thumbs up right now. So let's get into the conditioners slash co-washes. Now, first and foremost, I don't do these in any particular order. I grab my favorites, I lay them on my desk, and I just grab them and talk about them. So the first one I have right here in my hand is Detroit Grooming. Detroit Grooming's beard conditioner comes in this amazing 8-ounce bottle. It's got the pump top. The label looks good. It holds up in the shower. It's Nice and thick and creamy. It leaves my beard feeling soft and hydrated and smooth when I get out of the shower. The scents are on point with what they're supposed to be, and I really, really enjoy that. I can run my comb through my beard in the shower, out of the shower, and feel that my beard is detangled and nice. I really, really like that. So Detroit Grooming in my top list. The next one that I reach over and grab is Fable, specifically their co-wash with CBD in it. I think CBD in co-wash is... Now, I don't have the science behind it to tell you whether I think CBD in a co-wash, to get into that whole debate, because you put it on your, your beard and you wash it off later, later, like pretty quick. It sits on there for five minutes and then you wash it off. Whether that does anything topically, whether any sticks around, I don't know. I'm not doing the science on that right now. I'm doing off a of feel and which ones feel the best for me. So don't hate... If I don't have the specific science behind that, what I'm saying is Fables CBD co-wash feels really good. It feels really good. Now I do have discount codes for most of these and they'll be in the comments down below, but you can see that this is a runnier type co-wash. It has a tiny little bit of cleaning agent in it. The smell is great. Some of the scents, depending on which one you get, can linger a little bit out of the shower, but one of the better feeling co-washes in the game. Then we move on over, move on over, right on over to the Bearded Mac. Man, I had his wash in there, and that mango lime scent is just amazing to me in the shower. I love the conditioners, same scent, extremely conditioning, softening. Again, the scent is great. It's a thick co-wash. The only thing I wish that Chris would do different would be make this bigger, 
But again, he made his wash and his conditioner conditioner to be used a couple times a week. So not an everyday thing. So hence you have it in the four ounce containers. But I would like to see it in an eight ounce container because nowadays with the virus and everything else going around, a lot more people are washing their beards more often and following with conditioners more often as well. So I could see the value for me particularly in a bigger size. Next up on the list, Define Beer Company. Carry over there at Define Beer Company decided to do to jump into the shampoo, the conditioner, the beard wash, the body wash, the soap game this year, and he did it well. He has a very good smelling. It says unscented, but there's definitely a scent to it. I think what he means by unscented is he doesn't put any scent in it. It's just the natural scent of the conditioner that he outsources. And with that, the beard conditioner that he has is extremely thick, extremely satisfying. It has a very nice, subtle scent that I really, really enjoy in the shower. Nothing overpowering, super subtle, but it's not a cleaning agent scent. It is just a nice, I'd say almost girly type scent, nothing like floral or anything like that. It just smells really good. Maybe it's like ocean water with a little bit of ozone in it. I'm not 100% sure what the scent is, but just know that Carrie doesn't add any scent in it, so you're just getting a little bit of the natural uh, scent from the product. But it is extremely thick. It is extremely moisturizing for my beard. And again, leaves no tangles. And my beard feels really soft and smooth all day long with this. This comes in the 8-ounce bottle. And again, you'll be able to see the textures. Last but not least on my list is Adam over there at Han Yonker. Han Yonker. Han Yonker. Han Yonker. Han... <sighs> you got to rock the yak. That's what I'm saying. Rock the yak. Bareback. My favorite conditioner from them. No scent in there at all. He calls it a co-wash. I feel like it's more of a conditioning agent. In my mind, it's nice and thick. It has no real scent to it. It leaves my beard feeling soft. Now, this is something I would use after a wash, not necessarily in place of a wash. But that's just my experience and what I think. But this did, I believe, win a beardy last year for the best co-wash. Not 100%. I don't, I don't remember exactly. We can go back and look, but... I believe it did. If not, it was really close. This bareback conditioner is awesome. I remember when I first tried it and I told him, like, you got to keep doing this. You got to get a bigger container. It's awesome. Don't run out. Blah, 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 blah. I went on and on. And this makes my top list for 2020 as well. So let me know if any of these make your top list. Which ones are your favorite? And if I didn't mention any, I have a few out there I think that I probably didn't mention, but I haven't necessarily tried them, but I think that they've reformulated. They're probably really good. But these are the ones that I've tried. So if I haven't listed your favorites out, go ahead and list them down below. I'll let you know if I've tried them or not. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. A lot more great content coming up from Faithfully Bearded, as well as The Beardies coming soon. We have some amazing product launches coming early 2021. And I'm excited to be here for you guys, with you guys, and because of you guys. All right. I think I'm done. I'm out. Thank you for watching this video from Faithfully Bearded. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up, click the bell, and turn on all notifications so you're notified of all new content. You can also become a member of the channel and get perks for the tiers that you join. You can share this out with your friends and help the channel grow. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and at faithfullybearded.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.